the English side, um, there is a clear strategy of selling the product of the balance sheets from, from the big English banks. Uh, we are involved in much of that. It's, it's clear. It's, it's there. But it's only at that end existing. Um, I don't see that at the German side. I don't see that at the French side. And only when the underlying balance sheets problems are, are simply addressed, then it may happen. So there is not a year or an age of distressed sales. Um, it, it will be basically a question of how the individual European countries, and maybe a banking union, if it has an impact, will push the banks simply to clean up their balance sheet, address the underlying issues, address the regulatory issues, which are connected to these, and then do it. What, what we see from the English side is impressive. When you say there's product back, yes, of course, in most cases, not core product. Um, something which is very much in the middle of the market. Um, uh, that goes to the market. It, it's, it's interesting. Before the financial crisis, I was basically buying for foreign addresses from German sellers. Now I'm selling for foreign addresses to German buyers. That's also interesting. It's from, from the bias that I'm seeing, of course, the, the, the funds come from different directions, I'm aware of it, is, I would say, 95% German addresses that are buying. That is what happens currently from the end of the English bank selling. So, product is there, and it is gladly receptive. Um, it's not cheap, but also not really expensive, somewhere in the middle. And I think none of these countries, maybe Germany the slowest because it can afford it the most, um, will be able simply to ignore their balance sheets forever. So therefore you, will, you can do that again and again, this kind of presentation, because over time we will see years of distressed sales in some of these countries approaching and focus being put on that, on that market and then it may move on to another country. This is what I think will happen, unless we have a clear and effective European regulation coming up on that, but I'm not a fan of Lewis Carroll and uh, his novels, more <laughs> of the reality. I think also 2014 will be another year of many standstill agreements and uh, extension of standstill agreements. That's, uh, that's for sure, because nobody wants to, to act too fast and. Uh, as long as the banks have the confidence that the existing managers are able to not add value but at least stabilize the assets, um, they will they will stay in the old hands or a, serv or a servicer will be introduced. But uh, they won't be thrown on the market and uh, won't be won't be uh, it won't be that cheap. But uh, also I agree the the ones that understand those assets with short leases and management um, uh, issues are more likely the German side. That's why. This is a clear trend that the developers that still have cash or access to, to, um, to capital, they are picking up larger portfolios, restructure them and then sell them as clean new assets to the markets, to the marketplace. And it's a clear, clear trend that we, that we see as well. And we are, we, are, we are hopeful that we can be, at the end of the day, be um, uh, investors for the clean, cleaned up assets again.